Do you have die plates? Do you have form steels? Maybe mold ejector plates? We're going to take a look at machining some of these using a feature based option. Based on this, we can run this feature recognition, which only takes moments, as you saw. We can pick up different setups and sort and maybe take out what we don't want to machine. We can also manually create these, but why do it? Then we're going to actually apply templates which are going to keep your machining consistent. Whether Fred, Bob, or Tom does it, it's going to come out the same way to your standards. These can be run on things that are designed in Visi or imported. We can build machine kinematics that can be specifically customized to show you exactly what the machine's going to look like and it machining. Let's take a look at that machine. It's actually creating based on the axis of C, B, and A on what it can do. It then creates that based off those vectors automatically. No room for error there. And you can see the toolpath that's been created. And here we can see some of the checks and balances going on. That feature depth is a bit of a problem in this situation. So we can easily go into the panel and adjust this easy to read with good pictures and measuring abilities to quickly adjust based on any of the needs we have. We'll just adjust this and say OK and it rebuilds automatically. Let's take a look at that die plate. We're actually ready to post process this. We've already sorted some of those tools based on different tool sizes or what it's doing. In this case, spot drills first. That post processor, it's gonna be made for your machine. That means it's gonna work. No hand editing code. As you can see, we've got a nice tool list and that post -a code is ready to go. Let's create some documentation. We can either do it in HTML or Excel. This documentation will help the guys set up the machine and it's gonna take pictures for all those operations. Those reports are customizable. And it's running on both uh, files. You can see in the opaque mold file. Let's take a look as that report's already done. A little less features to machine, but you can see here we've got tools, their designations, all done for you. You can see the elapsed times, programmed, posted, and setup sheets. Can your CAM software do that?